Hi everybody, Jillian here to share with you a Bible journaling process video using the January Faith Art Box from Creative Retreat. Here's a look at everything that I'm going to be using today. So I decided to do my entry today in Philippians 2.15. And as you can see, this is the page that has Philippians 2 on it. Um, it has an entry on it. Normally I'd go to the other side. That has an entry also, maybe on the back page of this. Oh, the entire book of Philippians as well as everything around it is full. So what I decided to do, um, because 215 is right here, I'm going to use a piece of vellum to create a tip in for this page. And it's not going to be this large. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down. I'm gonna show you my process for creating that. So I decided to use the stamps that came in the box this month and I was really inspired by this gemstone here and looked to the sticker sheet here to determine where I wanted to go with it. And this purple sticker here that says shine really inspired me and kind of pointed me in the direction of this verse in Philippians. Since I'm using vellum, since this is a gemstone um, and I'm talking about shining, I thought it would be really fun to use embossing powder on, on the vellum. So I'm going to be using this gold glitter embossing powder. And then for that, um, I'm going to use the Versamark ink. It's just a sticky ink that will help the embossing powder stick. An acrylic block to stamp the image down. And then I'm going to use this roll of clear, plain washi tape to go ahead and adhere the tip in into the Bible here because I really want it to be light and almost weightless. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and get started. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to go ahead and cut the vellum down, and before I could do that, I realized I needed to make sure that all of the stickers that I wanted to include fit on the vellum. So I'm going to stick things down lightly and then kind of adjust them once I have an idea of where I want them to go. You can see here I'm starting towards the very left of this piece of vellum, and I realized after I stuck everything down that I needed to kind of move it over to allow for one room for stamping the um, the gemstones and also to adhere it with the vellum into my Bible. So I get everything stuck down and then I realize that and kind of pick it up and move it over to the other side. Then I'm just going to trim off the weird not straight edge off of the top and because uh, this is a scrap and then kind of eyeball it and see where it fits best into the Bible and I'm using just this very accurate measuring trick of creating an indentation in the vellum to kind of give me a marker for where to go ahead and trim it. And then I realized that I wanted to make sure that the stickers were centered in the middle of the vellum and uh, trimmed a little more off. Next I'm going to perform surgery on these clear stamps. Um, I liked the gemstone and I like the little rays coming off from the top of it, um, but I didn't want to include those for this entry. so. I just very simply took a pair of sharp scissors and cut off those the rays on the top of it and then put them back with the rest of the stamp. And it's very easy to go ahead and line them up if I want to use them again, to line them up on my clear block and then stamp them. So you can see what I'm doing here is taking the Versamark ink and stamping down the gemstone kind of off of the edge of the page, that's why I'm using this uh, scrap of white paper here. I'm just kind of moving them around so they're kind of going in different directions. Some are touching, some are closer, and um, I wanted to do the top third of them to see what it looked like before I finished it. So I used the gold glitter embossing powder there, just sprinkled it on top, tapped off the excess, and then I used a dry paintbrush to get some of the stray embossing powder off of the vellum. And I didn't get all of it, and it's not perfect. I see that I did make a mistake, but I'm not going for perfection when I'm Bible journaling. I'm certainly not perfect, and this is very much a handmade project, and I don't mind that look in my entries. So now that I did the top third, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom and kind of mimic the pattern that I created on the top. And I don't, just a note for embossing on vellum, I didn't hold the heat on it too long. I saw As soon as I saw that it melted, I went ahead and moved it because I don't want to burn the vellum. This is just regular craft white vellum that you can get from your local craft store. And I hit it with the heat on the back too because it did warp a little bit. It will become flattened once it's in there, so I'm not worried about that. 
So you can see, again, I'm taking just a clean, dry paintbrush. Uh, I'm kind of removing some of the stray embossing powder that got on there. So while I go ahead and hit this with the heat tool, I'm going to go ahead and read the verse that inspired this entry. It's Philippians 2.15, and it says, I'll start with verse 14. That makes more sense. Uh, Do everything without grumbling or arguing, so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God, without fault, in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. So next I am taking this clear washi tape, and I like to line it up on the edge of the tip in first, and then go ahead and lay it flat in the Bible, and then press down the washi tape to make sure that it's adhered. And that's pretty much it. Here is a look at the entry up close. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I've got the January Faith Art Box linked in the description below if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.